Today on Talking Plant Protein, I'm here with my buddy, Dr. Alexander Paziotopoulos at the Pazio Institute. World famous. Yes, world famous? Sure. Okay. He's, he's <laughs> humble. World famous. Now, you're an MD, but this is not your typical doctor's office by any means. You do all sorts of what a lot of people might consider crazy things because they haven't heard about sure. it, right? And you consider yourself a medical engineer. What, what is medical engineering? So medical engineering to me is just using engineering principles mm -hmm. in medicine. So um, of all the sciences, there's an engineer behind pretty much every single one of them. And the engineers are there to make sure that things are efficient and that the machines um, don't age and that they stay at their optimal performance during their lifetime, lifespan. Okay. Um, medicine doesn't do that. Right. Medicine doesn't use those principles. So I'm trying to bring those principles in. And then on top of my MD, where I have functional medicine and some stem cell and some peptide and a bunch of different yeah. um, fellowships that I've done so that we can use all these different modalities. Mm -hmm. And the end point is to try to not only extend your lifespan, but extend the quality of your lifespan. You're prescribing a specific diet for the majority, if not all of your patients coming in. It, it, and that's pretty, pretty much plants, correct? It is. People like to think that they're quite different than others. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I'm this blood type or I'm this and I need to be on this diet and you need to be on that diet and that person needs to be on this diet and it's really not, right? Um, we know this from veterinarians mm -hmm. that take care of all the animals and the zoo and all these types of things, right? They don't have different diets for all these things, right? It's just like, here, this gets this and this gets that. And they all seem to do pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, because, you know, they don't have an ego. Right. <laughs> right. So if I could, I would put everyone on a plant-based diet. Um, and I prescribe it. And it's part of their regimen. Is, right. You know, I want you to be on a plant-based diet. And these are the kind of plants I want you to eat. Right. I want you to have microgreens. I want you to have herbs and spices. I want you to rotate them. They're, you know, they have all these different effects on the body. Mm -hmm. I want you to have enough fiber. Right? I want you to have a rainbow diet so that you can get a, a, all the different types of compounds that we want from the plants. Yeah. Right? Um, and then, of course, we'll do some food sensitivity to see what you're sensitive sure. to. And we'll do some gut testing to make sure that you're not getting some of the plants that might cause problems. Right. But we want you to be on plants. And I show them things like the China study and some of the other you know, things like that came out of the Cleveland Clinic with yeah. heart disease and, and Dean Ornish and the fact that, like, up until today, we don't, we can't reverse coronary artery disease with any other diet than plants. Mm. Now, you know, I have theories that you know, just intermittent fasting will probably start working. Yeah. But we don't have enough studies on that yet, right? right? Um, but we do know that plants work for that. So right and now, your primary prescription is plants. Is plants, and okay. the other nice thing about plants is low methionine, and that amino acid is what's responsible for a lot of growth. Mm -hmm. So uh, plant-based diet, great for longevity, maintaining, and, um, and just health in general. You also do a really comprehensive blood work. And yeah. I want to talk about blood work and then what you see when people start changing their diet because sure. predominantly you're, you're prescribing a, a plant-based diet for mm -hmm. people. So when you're doing blood work, you know, what, are you, what are you looking for and what do you get back? So one of the things that we're always looking for with blood work is chronic inflammation. Mm -hmm. You know, we get the standard cholesterols and these kinds of things, but I look, I like to look at all these inflammatory markers and there's a whole list of them. And when I see markers that are elevated, 90% of the time it's diet, mm. right? And then there's a little sleep in there and there's, you know, some diseases that somebody might have or genetics, right. but almost always it's diet. And so when I see people really adopt a healthy plant-based diet, mm -hmm. and the reason I say healthy is you could have a plant-based diet that's atrocious. Sure. All right? Well, I try to teach people like, look, you know, this is a vegetable, not processed. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> There's no ingredients on it? That's it? <laughs> right? Like yeah. I'm just saying, like get them in. Right. So, and, yeah, and then I try to teach people about lectins because lectins are important for mm -hmm. people. And so um, I love the pressure cooker. When you pressure cook, you pretty much destroy all the lectins. Okay, so when you're talking about lectins, you're talking about like the plant's kind of defense mechanisms with, yeah, within that particular... Right. The problem that is that today we have GMO foods, we have lots of herbicides, we have lots of pesticides, mm -hmm. and 
GMO foods and wheat in general, we've increased a lot of lectin ca uh, counts in the food mm. and by the hybridizing it. If you have more lectin in your food, it's harder for the insects to get it, right? They're more insect resistant. Right. So that's great for that, it's just not so good for us. Sure. And then since our guts aren't nearly as good, the microbiome isn't as robust, you know, we have a fraction of the microbiome that our ancestors had. So now we're not nearly as good at dealing with different lectins. You know, we, don't, we don't have the microbiome to break it down. Mm -hmm. um, and we have leaky gut, you know, from all these other pesticides and all this other junk in our environment. Yeah. So we're, just, we're more susceptible and they're higher. So that's why we're getting so affected okay. by it. Is there anything that you're excited about as far as, you know, like plant-based eating and in a plant-forward lifestyle that's, you know, that you see kind of uh, on the foreground, either in the, in the industry or, um, you know, on product base? I really like what um, is happening with biodynamic farms. Mm. So biodynamic farms are really changing uh, what's happening here in the U.S. They're, they're taking farmers that were used to like dealing with Monsanto or some other companies mm -hmm. and they're showing them, look, you can get away from them. We'll teach you how to do a cover crop. We're gonna teach you how to fix your soil, how, yeah. to, how, to, how to grow like your great grandfather, yeah. right? And uh, make a much better quality food. And so I think that it's a lot more available to get those now. Yeah. Um, CSAs, little farms, you know, like here in the city, you can get a CSA and get yeah. a share at your farm and then you know you're getting organics and biodynamics and you're just getting a much higher quality plant. Yeah. Um, with higher nutrient values and less toxins and all of that. So I think that that's really great and, that, and that's being pushed forward. Mm -hmm. And really just plants in general are getting pushed forward even in Western medicine. So I'm getting some of my patients that go see their internal medicine doctor and stuff like that. And even just for two seconds, they might just be say like, hey, are you eating more plants? You know? Um, so they're getting it. People yeah. are understanding the need for it and the restaurants are changing to accommodate. So I think that there's a lot of stuff happening and even Whole Foods and all these other places are just having more and more options sure. for people. So, and you know, from the activist in me, sure. um, who, I who really- was living in the co-op. Right, and, uh, I really like the fact that like, we're, we're making an impact in the right direction. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time. It's always great to talk to you. You're a plethora of information. Uh -huh. And people check out the PazioInstitute.com. Uh, and just, you've got all the information on there, right? Sure. Dr. Alex, thank you, sir.